Mm, hello. Yeah, I've just come back from the gym a little while ago and uh, having a few drinks and um, been watching a few of Archie's videos that he's uploaded today. Uh, it's nice to see he's come back from Fiji. And I uh, just wanted to, to welcome, him, welcome him back, really, uh, for all the fuckers. And um, you know, we'll, we'll all be looking, looking forward to some more videos and content there. And uh, yeah, I saw, I saw Steve Allen's um, video earlier today. Welcome Archie back with his uh, speedy on that he bought from Archie. So I, I put mine on for the video. It's there, and I, but I've got it on the, the NASA Velcro strap. The NASA uh, serial number and everything on there, and Velcro. That's a decent watch there. And um, yeah, it's been quite funny watching some of the, the his exploits in in Fiji. Yeah, I hope you can tell us a bit more about these third world gougers who uh, are on Archie's case over there. I mean, what right have they got to gouge Archie? I mean, he needs every every dollar and cent he can get to. Keep himself in luxury goods and keep uh, keep Mrs. Archie Hiromi in uh, pianos and uh, you know Chanel stuff and stuff and things like that. And I'm not surprised with their gouging that they've heard the shrill tongue from Archie there. You know, this is a Lafroy, very nice Lafroy, ten year old. One of my favourites. I absolutely love Lafroy. I know it splits opinion. Because it is quite unusual, but I absolutely love it. I think Archie had a Lafroy, didn't he? I forget who sent him that. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I came back from the circuit training. About 70 or 80 of us doing that. I'm sure it'll kill me one day doing it, but... Yeah, so we just came back from that, having a few drinks. I had a couple of these. Staroproman. Czech lager there, which is a very nice beer, and then started on the Lafroy. And it's very rewarding to have a nice drinky after the gym, I find, even if it is a bit counterproductive in, on, on some level. But you know, what, what can you say? Yeah, so. Yeah, I wonder what videos Archie's going to be putting out over the next few days. He's obviously got to move on from selling the annual. The old 5035. He's got to move on from that. He's still got the 5107. The signature watch. For the channel. And, of course, the reverse. So, Grand Date. Which I love. I'm, I'm half decided on buying one of those myself, actually. But I'm not sure. I might go, might buy another Aquanaut again, because I really regret selling that. <sighs> yeah, yeah. So he's got those two high-end pieces, and then he's got his wearable watches now. His date was it? Date just sixteen two three four, and then uh, the sub, no date sub, which is another one I want to get. I'd like to get that a no date sub as a as a kind of a, a watch to wear to the gym, really. Might put that on a NATO or a rubber strap, and just uh, have it as a beta, really. You know, a no date sub. I think that'd be the ultimate beta, really. Yeah. So, um, and then he's, he's, he's Explorer Two as well. Yeah. So he's, he's all right there. There's plenty, of, plenty of uh, options there for, for for new content. And we're all pleased to see him come back. And John John uh, John suckerhorn has been, uh, you know, holding the fort whilst he's away. Been calling the suckeroonies instead of fuckeroonies, which is quite quite innovative. Uh, yeah, and I for one am looking forward to to seeing more of those live live chats between uh, Archie and John. And as as someone said on the channel once on on the comments, John is. He somehow manages to strike a perfect uh, a perfect line between uh, class and sleaze, and he really does, and that's a compliment. And 
And he's always got his, his cigarette on the go, hasn't he? And uh, and and a crown and a crown, <laughs> crown lager. <laughs> yeah, he's very funny. Yeah, and he's he's been wearing that speedy as well, which I'm sure a few people have spotted. Yeah, you've got to have a speedy. Got to have a speedy there. I actually wear this at night. If I'm not, don't wear it during the day. If I put on the Rolex Oyster Perpetual during the day, for example, I always put that on at night for some reason. Don't know why. I just like to. I always like to wear a watch at night. I wore this horrible thing to the to that circuit training, the F91. Well, it's not horrible. It's just extremely functional and nothing else, isn't it? But yeah, I, I reckon I've, I I could swap that out for for a no date sub, and then even when I'm doing all that working out, I still have a nice a nice watch on. I think I could do that. Yeah, so yeah, it's good to see Archie come back, and um, I think someone needs to send him some, some more scotch, don't they? Really, you know, we we need those those moments where he opens a new. A new, a new gift, and you, you, you see that that look on his face, that <laughs> like his face lights up when he, he gets a new gift. You know, it's quite funny. I mean, I've sent him a couple of bottles last year. Uh, what was it? I sent him the Singleton, twelve-year-old single malt, and the Talisker ten. Um, yeah, the Talisco. I, I that's one of the one of the the malts I had when I celebrate buying my Aquanaut. The other was a, a Welsh whiskey, the Penderin, which I think Archie's also had. Um, yeah, so maybe I should send him another one, you know, to welcome him back. But uh, actually, I might might send him one of these, a nice Lafroy. That be that be good. Yeah, so Archie's back. I think he's got a very solid collection still. It's, it's kind of more sensible, isn't it? You know, two good, two high-end pieces, and he's worked three wearable Rolexes. I'm surprised how quickly he got those all in a row. I, I, I'm not sure if that's the best thing, you know, buying, you know, bam, 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 three Rolexes all at once. So, because you, you know, if you get them straight all in a row, you, all at once, you don't, you know. You don't appreciate what it, what it's like to get them, do you? Somehow, yeah. Um, I myself, I I really, I ended up selling that Aquanaut for various reasons, and I, I really would like one again. I'd really like to get the Aquanaut again. I bought the I bought the Rolex Oyster Perpetual as a kind of a sensible, you know, wearable everyday watch. And it's a very nice watch. I love the blue dial. Um, but really, I think that the Aquanaut was just so good as an everyday watch. It was so nice. And I think if I had got the Aquanaut and the No Date Salve, as I mentioned earlier, and then maybe something... So if I already had those two, the No Date Salve and the Aquanaut, I think something complicated and gold. I mean, not necessarily gold, but something something either gold or complicated. And that would do me. I don't really want too many watches. I don't want six, six to ten watches like some people get. It's just not what. It just doesn't suit me. Um, I want to know what my watches are for, really, and I, and, I, and I think that would do me a nice uh, no date sub, Aquanaut again. And and possibly the Grand Date because I always like the Grand Date. I know I had the, the Reverso Grand GMT, um, which I got for a good price. But I really wanted the, the Grand Date at the time. I, I think I may I may go for one. I may go. The, I may that might be my three. That might I might probably keep the Speedy as well. That'll probably be my three. No Date Sub, Aquanaut, and 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 the Grand Date maybe. And I may up uh, well. I think that'll do. That's probably how I'm going to go over the next six months or so. so that's my plan, and um, yeah, just as I was saying at the start, it's, um, welcome, welcome back to Archie. Really, 
we're all happy to have you back and uh, I'm glad you've uh, rehabilitated yourself despite the gouges and uh, we can move on to new things. Okay then, cheers Arch, bye bye, see you later. Nice, uh,